Welcome back viewers. In this part of the program, I would take up the new law approved uh, recently in Singapore. The protection from online falsehoods and manipulation bill will come into force shortly in Singapore. Freedom of speech and expression in context of digital age had remained largely unregulated around the world. With the ensuing disturbing events in the recent past in different parts of the world originating from uh, digital showgrounds and uh, platforms, a need is felt all around to regulate the digital media and communication arising thereof. But are the nations incapacitating the human and fundamental rights of freedom and expression under the garb of regulating the digital trail? Recently, Singapore has approved a contentious anti-fake news law which gives the government overdrawn powers to police online platforms as well as private discussions and chat groups. The government has stressed, the Singapore government has stressed the law would not target uh, views and opinions but only lies that could prove detrimental to the public interest. The Singaporean law minister briefed parliament recently thereby highlighting that, that the free speech should not be affected by this bill and that the whole objective of the new law being intended at preventing falsehoods, trolls and fake accounts. The government can now direct the online platforms to remove what is what it opines as false statements which are against public interest and and instead direct them to take corrective measures by posting the real version of the news or information it is claimed that the new law protects citizen from fabricated and fake news whereas the detractors of the new law assert that this intimidates civil liberties and even freedom of speech and expression the law comes with certain loopholes as i analyzed as it is uncertain how it could be enforced in in some eventualities for for example content or chats in encrypted apps talking about the penal part of the law a person found guilty of breaching the provisions of this law meaning spreading falsehood etc could could face severe penalty and jail term up to five years the law also bars and prohibits the use of fake accounts and or, or bots to spread uh, fake news and anyone found guilty of doing that could face severe penalties to the extent of 1 million Singaporean dollars and a jail term of 10 years. Social media and news websites will be specifically monitored under the law. Conceivably, one of the most contentious features of this law is that it could be enforced to closed private chat groups and social media groups, including apps with end to end encryption, where only recipients and senders uh, can access chats and messages. Obviously, apps like WhatsApp, um, Line, WeChat, messaging service of Facebook, Telegram, etc. Would, would, would be affected. Though the new law provides that false statements cannot be transmitted to users in Singapore, either through internet or text messages or let's say multimedia messages, but one, one is yet to comprehend as to how the enforcement authorities would penetrate into the encrypted apps. Human rights uh, experts have, have branded the acts of policing private chats as, as insane and, and a real threat to the freedom of expression. A law which is highly draconian, giving absolute unfettered power to the authorities. Whereas the Singapore government claims that country needs strict laws, uh, given the possibilities of fake news uh, inciting racial and religious disharmony and that the government needs power to act to swiftly halt the viral spread of falsehoods. 
it has argued that the law does contain uh, several precautions against abuse of power including remedies of judicial reviews of government orders fake news or hate speeches have become a matter of concern across the globe several nations have initiated such uh, legislation uh, or executive orders and and singapore has joined that club well thank you viewers i will see you next week with a new law or policy analysis